Setting up a customer is really easy in sales routes. We're just going to click the menu icon and go to the customer's screen. This will show you all the customers you've personally set up for service. And you can sort this really easily by a bunch of different columns and also filter out um, different statuses so you can see exactly what you want to see. It's also really easy to search um, using either first or last name uh, using this customer search bar. But to create a new customer, we're just going to click plus new. And this will allow me to enter in a new uh, customer's information. And uh, I usually pass this off to the customer um, so that there's less data entry errors. So I'll have them fill out their name, their phone number, um, and then also their email address. And then the very next thing I'll do is click verify location. And this allows you to pinpoint exactly where the customer's home is. So you can just tap on the map and make sure that the mar green marker is situated where their home is. And this helps with route optimization and uh, with helping technicians find the home later on. After you verify the location, you can click auto address and it'll use that geocode that you created uh, to reverse geocode the address. So it'll fill in all the address information for you. And uh, it never really gets it exactly right. Google Maps always approximates the number. So you usually have to adjust the number and the address, but everything else is usually pretty good. The next section is for permanent customer notes. Uh, so these are the things that will be on the customer's account permanently for all services. And uh, so if you have something specific to the initial appointment, you can put those in when you're scheduling the appointment later on. These will be ones that are just permanent. You can also upload an image. It's a great option for uploading switchover proof um, or you know, a wasp up in the eaves or a fire ant mound out in the yard. So you can really easily upload images. And then if your office still uses map pages, which hopefully they're graduating beyond that by now, but if they do, you can enter it there. You can also put in a tax rate. Um, it'll default to whatever the office default is, but sometimes you may need to adjust that. And then you can also flag things as being switchovers or not. And I highly recommend doing this because it allows you to keep track of how many customers you switched over. Great salesmen usually have at least 50 to 60% switchover ratios. So if you want to keep track of how well you're doing at switching customers over, I would highly recommend using this flag. And then you can also toggle between SMS, phone, email reminders for customers to receive reminders on their future services. Make sure and check with your office manager before you adjust these because some offices have different preferences uh, for the reminders they want to have sent out. That's it for the information tab. We're just going to click continue and this will take us to the service setup. And this is where I can specify which month that the service is starting in. If you've already scheduled the initial appointment, this will be pre-filled in. Otherwise, it's going to default to the current month. And it's just used to generate the service schedule. So you can approximate when their initial service is going to be so that the service schedule is adjusted properly. The initial quote obviously defaults to the office's default and allows you to put in a discount to generate an initial service charge. And uh, from there, you can add initial add-ons. These add-ons will be things that are just for the initial service. So these will be one-time add-ons that are charged just on the initial. And basically it's going to take the initial charge, add whatever add-ons are on there, and give you an initial subtotal. And this is what's going to be charged on the first service. Next you can select what type of recurring service that they're going to be set up on. So uh, you know, quarterly is one of the most common, uh, and I always do my 30-day follow-up or a back-to-back -back appointment but you can adjust that um, based on your office, uh, what your office allows you to do. The next thing is contract length, which uh, you can have defaulted to anything. Um, in order to help you sell multi-years, we don't even offer a one-year agreement as an option. If you want to do a one-year agreement, you actually have to select custom months and then put 12 months into the custom months filled. This is great if you're trying to push uh, multi-years because it really uh, helps customers see that it uh, two-year agreements, the, the normal. But if you don't really do multi-year agreements, then you can have this set as 12 months by default back in the office. Uh, I would highly discourage using custom schedule. There's almost you know, no situations where this is needed. This allows you to specifically specify certain months that you're coming out. But uh, I would highly discourage using this because there's you know, very few situations where this is needed. Um, instead, you should either use a service type or a seasonal service. 
Uh, seasonal services are great for things like mosquito treatments and also for um, and also for uh, um, lawn care services because you can say, for example, that you might want something monthly between the months of March and October, and this allows you to be really specific about which month uh, which months you're coming out. In this case, I'm going to leave it just as a straight quarterly. And then I need to put in my recurring charge, which in this case is going to be 99 bucks a quarter. Um, I can also do uh, add-ons for the recurring uh, ticket. So uh, this is great for like termite monitoring or things like that. And uh, you can adjust these prices based on what your office allows you to do, and it will generate a recurring subtotal. And then the final thing on, uh, in order to set up a service is setting the billing schedule. The very most common is billing after each completed service. And so this is where the technician comes out and does the service, and they're charged you know, uh, an amount after the service is completed. The other options are doing a year in advance, which allows you to quickly generate a, um, it'll tell you the um, extended service price. This is the, the value of the entire year of the initial service plus the recurring services plus tax. And then you can also put in a discount, which will calculate um, a discount for you based off a of percentage, and then give you a total amount that's due based off of the discount. So this is really helpful to help you calculate what the initial, um, or what the uh, year in full amount would be. And then the other option is a monthly subscription plan. I really like this option. Make sure you check with your office manager to make sure that it's an option that your office um, wants to utilize. But the monthly subscription plan is great because it detaches the service from the billing. So for example, if you say monthly subscription plan, they might get service quarterly, but they're going to get billed monthly. And uh, instead of waiting until after the service is completed, it just bills their account every month on a certain date, um, whether they receive the service or not. So the great thing about this is for customers, it's much easier to balance, or sorry, to budget, because instead of paying 100 bucks every quarter, they just pay $33 every month. And then uh, you know it's easier for them to budget that. So um, monthly subscriptions are great. Make sure that if you select monthly subscription that you also adjust the price up here to be whatever the monthly price is supposed to be. So if it's quarterly $99 and you're doing monthly billing, make sure that you set it to $33. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it as the normal after each completed service. And then I'm just going to click Continue. This is where I can mark what method of payment that I collected. Obviously, we're pushing for credit card. Uh, make sure and check with your office to see if they offer ACH or e-check, because a lot of offices don't do ACH or e-check. But credit card is the most common. We're going to put a credit card method, and then we're going to mark them as being a credit card auto pay. It's going to tell me what the total price with tax um, that's going to be due on the initial service. And I can mark that I collected that um, if I collected a cash or check. And I also do it if I uh, collected a credit card just so that it shows up on the contract. This doesn't actually bill anything. Nothing gets billed until after the initial service is completed, but it's just for record keeping. From there, I can enter in the credit card information. And uh, it'll actually uh, bark at me if the number's wrong. So it'll tell you if it's an invalid number or not. Um, that way, you don't make any data entry mistakes. If you type in a four with 15 ones, it's a special test number that will pass all the tests. So you can use that for uh, testing purposes. It'll also bark at you if the expiration date is expired, so that way you don't try to collect an expired card, which you'll never get paid from. And then you can collect uh, or copy the service address, or you can adjust it um, to something different if their billing address is different. The really cool thing about sales routes is we've spent a lot of time building a proprietary system that ensures that the credit card information is uh, secured before it's transferred. We actually encrypt the, all the information immediately after it's entered into the form. And then we actually send it directly to a PCI compliant vendor over an encrypted channel. And so you can make sure that your, uh, or you can make sure your customers so that know that their credit card data is being secured before it's being sent. And then from there, um, in fact, just if you'll notice, after we click continue, it automatically masks the numbers, and at this point, the card number has been encrypted um, and has been secured. But from there, we're going to go to the agreement panel, 
And uh, all we do is click Generate Agreement, and it takes all of the information that we just entered and puts it into the contract. It generates a service schedule here, um, so you can point out which months that you're going to be coming out. So it's really easy to point out the initial in May and then 30 days later for the, for the follow-up, and then once a quarter from there. And then it'll also list and detail out exactly what's getting charged on the initial service, and then also what's getting charged on the recurring services. And then uh, if you guys have an additional page to your contract, or if you have like a consumer information sheet, it would actually be a button right here that you can click. And this will allow the customers to see any additional information. Um, so if you have like consumer information sheets, that'll show up here. Your office has to set that up on the back end though. And then it will have a spot for them to initial saying that they agree to the terms of the agreement and that they can receive their information electronically. Um, we put that right underneath the big bold letters that say that it's a 12-month agreement or whatever agreement length you selected earlier. And if they selected auto pay, we also make them initial for the card so that they it's clear that you're going to charge their card automatically after each service. And then all you do is tap this little space below and it'll have a pop-up where the customer can sign with their finger. And uh, once you've uh, initialed the agreement and also signed it, make sure and click sign agreement in the bottom right. This is important. And uh, this will send all of the information to the server. And once it's been uh, successfully sent off to pest routes, we'll email a copy to the customer and then also a copy to the sales rep if you have your email on file. And this is really important, but uh, please, please, please make sure that when you click sign agreement that you watch out for this notification here and then it says congratulations that uh, your service has been successfully set up. Sometimes guys uh, won't pay attention to this message and it might have an error message. And in that case, they think they signed the agreement and something went wrong. So please, please, please make sure that you get a confirmation so that you know that it has been successfully set up. And once you've done that, your customer is signed up and ready to go. And the only thing left for you to do is to schedule their initial service. So the final tab up here um, in the customer card is a status uh, tab. And this will allow you to see the status of the initial appointment. And this is a shortcut where you can really easily schedule the appointment by clicking this button. And it'll also show you all of the details of the initial service, whether it's been completed or not. Uh, what the technician said when he went out there, and all of that information. The other thing that you can do from this uh, tab is you can remove the customer completely. This only works if you've already canceled their existing appointments. And also it only works if uh, your office allows you to remove customers completely. But this is what you would do if you've made a mistake or you've signed somebody up that um, you started filling out a contract that never got finished. And then the one, thing, the one other thing I want to point out is that if you generate this agreement and then make changes to the information, like let's say for example I went back and I gave them a little bit more of a discount to kind of seal the deal. Um, when I come back to the Agree tab, this is going to be the same agreement that I generated earlier. So if you've made changes to any of the information, make sure to click Regenerate Agreement so that it updates all of the information uh, before signing it. Um, so that's really important as well. Anyways, that's how easy it is to set up a customer uh, using sales routes. I hope you guys enjoyed.